สวัสดี thank you very much hello everyone uh, thanks Dato to invited me to join this presentation uh, in terms of home net Thailand we work uh, mostly uh, we work in urban and rural but uh, our member are more in rural areas and we are also member of home net Southeast Asia and uh, in soon we will have home net internationals I try to uh, do the presentation in the big picture. Before this, I have uh, decided uh, because under Home Thailand, we have uh, small uh, activities, uh, several small activities. But I decided to present in terms of the overview of the Home Thailand. And right now, we also uh, maybe we start with my PowerPoint. Okay. Okay. I will talk about the Federation of Informal Workers of Thailand. Uh, the Federation of Informal Workers of Thailand. Next. Mm -hmm. Is uh, next slide. Uh, is established in 2016. In fact, Home Net Thailand is uh, established long time before, 10 years, more than 10 years before this. But uh, this story is about Federation of Informal Workers of Thailand, which is uh, exhibited in 2016 as a membership-based organization. We call it, in short, it FIT. FIT is compiled of five informal worker organization. It's Home Net Thailand Association. Home Net Thailand Association, most of the members are home-based workers. And we have motorcycle and taxi driver in association. We have network of domestic workers in Thailand. We have credit union cooperative of uh, the market trader in Lam Tong market traders. And we also have network of street vendors. Huh? Federation of informal workers. Uh, there are more than 23,000 informal workers. Huh? About 45 49.5 are females and 50.5 are males. But uh, if we exclude transport workers, because most of the transport workers are men, uh, we found out that more than 66% are women and 34% are men. Next. Next slide. As uh, our organization, a membership-based organization, membership-based organization we also have our principle, like uh, the first one is about ownership. It means that uh, our member have to pay membership fee and they have to pay like registration fee. We have two levels, as the sector level and at the federation level. As sector level is individual member have to pay, have to pay membership fee. And at the federation level organization that they are belong to, have to pay membership fee. Like uh, as a uh, sector level, like home-based worker, they will pay membership fee uh, like uh, 20 baht a year uh, for the network of domestic worker. The domestic worker have to pay 150 baht a year. But at organization, they will pay about 2,000 baht a year like this. And we follow the principle of participation. We have regular meeting, we have two-way communication, and we organize uh, regular activities. And the third principle is in terms of membership benefit. All the benefit will be for our members, like in terms of raising income, or we advocate for legal and social protection. This is uh, their benefit if they join our organization and the first one is uh, fit is democratic organization it means that uh, we have our structure and our board member have to be elect we have an election of the committee member will be uh, for in that term is about uh, four years term and the last one is very important in Thailand 
that uh, in terms of independent from politics. Because uh, even though you are uh, prefer to any political party, but uh, as a fifth member, we are independent from any uh, political parties. Our objective is try to promote social. Next, uh, we promote Sandra, please. In terms of our objective, we promote social tactic. We try to reduce social inequalities. We support livelihood development and economic empowerment of our of informal workers. We advocate for legal and social protection for informal workers, and we raise social awareness and recognition that informal workers are economic agent. We are part of the uh, the development of the socio-economic of our countries. Because uh, normally people look at uh, informal worker as a burden of the society. But in fact, we are, we are economic agent of the countries. So we try to raise awareness on this. Next. In general, our activities, huh? is uh, we the main activity is we try to because uh, in normally informal workers are scattered they are not uh, organized so we try to mobilize and organize informal workers as membership based organization we promote communities and social enterprise we have a home net brand enterprise we have we promote green products we promote life like, saving activities and we promote and support access to health services and occupational health and safety. And we try to advocate for legal and social protection. And in the past, we are success in terms of, uh, we have uh, success uh, with three laws. It's Home Worker Protection Act and Social Security for Informal Workers and the Ministry of Recreation to protect uh, domestic worker rights. We try to promote linking of economic activity between subsector like home-based worker linked with motorcycle taxi driver or street vendor linked with motorcycle taxi driver and domestic workers. And we advocate for gender equality and try to stop gender-based violence. In terms of SSE dimensions, uh, principle that uh, Dato said, talk about uh, people, profit, and planet. We think that uh, based on our principle, we are socially, socially responsible governance. And in terms of ethical values, we work on human rights and labor rights. Yeah? And socioeconomic benefit of the communities, uh, we promote in terms of the uh, enterprise and try to uh, advocate in terms of social securities, like uh, social insurance for our members. So this is uh, the benefit of our member will, uh, will be our goal. And in terms of ecological conservation, we promote uh, green products. Uh, like uh, street vendor, you can see that even street vendor, we promote that they reduce using foam and uh, we have our member who produce uh, like uh, environmental friendly products. In terms of the economic sustainability, sustainability in fact, uh, we are far from this because uh, we cannot uh, survive with only our membership fee because our members are still poor and we need a lot of support. But uh, in our Goal, we target that we, we, we want to be self reliant. We want to be, uh, we are not want to re rely on any donation. But at this stage, we still uh, rely on donation. Next. In terms of SDGs, if you consider our activities, our activity are linked with the fourth. Uh, about seven SDG like no poverty and good health and well-being. We work a lot on 
in terms of health services and occupational health and safety in terms of gender equality. And we, the main focus is in terms of employment. We are promote decent work and we try to reduce inequalities. And the SDG goal number 11 in terms of the urban issue, in terms of sustainable city and community, we promote a lot. We try to work a lot with local authorities to promote sustainable city and communities. Uh, and uh, goal number 12, in terms of responsible consumption and production, as I mentioned before. Huh? Next. Uh, I will show you some photo. I think photo can explain a lot in terms of our member. We, we work with all home-based workers and most on account workers and subcontract workers like uh, uh, in the photos. Next. And we also promote in terms of home net plan. We have about uh, 25 groups work together. We also promote in terms of uh, uh, environmental friendly product like uh, seals, seals weave, weaving product, silk clothes and cotton product, which is uh, uh, dye from plants and organic substance, natural organic substance. In terms of advocacy, we work a lot uh, uh, to change uh, policy, like uh, on street vendor policy, like uh, the street vendor in Bangkok, uh, they are evicted, the government force to evict them from, the, from Bangkok, and we work a lot in terms of the, try to help them to return back to the, to, to sell their products. Yeah? But up to now, we are have, uh, ongoing uh, advocate on this. And next. This is our domestic worker members on the International Domestic Worker Day. We work closely with the government to promote ratification of C189 and at the same time to stop uh, gender-based violence. You can see from the the photos from the pictures. Next. And uh, during COVID-19, we try to raise funds and help our members. You can see that uh, we have even the central kitchen in the communities. And at the same time, we provide food packets to our members. You can see that this is from Fit. Uh -huh. Next. The transport worker, like a motorcycle taxi driver in Bangkok during COVID 19, uh, we link them with the sustainable agriculture groups and provide them vegetable. Next. I like to end my presentation. This uh, two next uh, photo. This is one of the photo that uh, talk about the practice, the recommendation practice of the beauticians in Nakhon Pathom province, which is mean that our member, that beautician organization, beautician club, they develop the guideline for their practice during the COVID-19 and they work closely with the provincial governors in the photo and in the uh, Facebook. Later on, the, the last one, the last pictures is uh, the, this is a picture from Chiang Rai that our walking street traders, walking, uh, the trader in walking street market talk with the Chiang Rai municipal, municipalities. Huh? They discuss about the guideline for their practice uh, when they will come back or return back to sell their products after uh, post uh, COVID-19. So you can see that uh, even at the local level and national level, we do 
policy advocacy and we try to co-create the policy and practice and uh, like a measures with the local authorities, not only at local level, but both at local and in, at the uh, country level, at national levels. That's on from uh, my story. <laughs>